Okay, Judy, we are working on the first Noel, and we're going to do the harmonics here. I just want to review one more time about what's happening in these verses. Um, we're going to start down here on the D 12th fret, and it goes up to the A7. They're on the same two strings. And then it goes to the G at the 12, 2, 3, sorry, it wasn't a very good one. And then it goes back to the D at 12. Okay, so it goes in a little circle as far as I know, as far as I'm thinking. That's really fast, so I don't want you to hear it, okay? The other thing is, remember when you're going from the G at the 12th fret to the D at the 12th, I want you to make sure you're muting those other three strings, okay? Uh, from the G, okay? So when you go from the G, I want you to kind of mute those before you play the, the D at 12. All right, then it just goes on from there, back to the G12, the one we did before, back to the A7 that we did before. But then it goes to the higher version of the G and the D, G at the 5th fret. And, and D at the 7th fret. And that's the full verse, okay? So just review one more time. It starts down low on D at the 12th fret, goes up to the A7, then to the G at the 12th fret, and then back to the D at the 12th, okay? And it goes back to the G we just did, back to the A we did at 7th fret, and the higher version of G then D. So the high G at 5, and the high D at 7, okay? That's the verse. We do that twice. The chorus should feel like it gets higher and higher. So it starts on the D at 12. It goes on the same two strings up to A at 7. Moves up to the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th string on the 12th fret G. And then it stays on the same three strings and goes to the D at 7. So you end up with this. And I would practice that over and over again, get used to the chorus, okay? It should go, stays on the two, same two strings for the first two um, chords, then it goes up and stays on the next three strings the same from G to D, okay? Um, I don't know, I think that's, I think that actually is a confusing explanation uh, on the video, but I think I did a decent job on in person so that maybe this will help a little bit. All right, now, getting this together so you can play it. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit slower than that, Dean. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm gonna play the melody for you. Again. Okay, so I just did the whole thing two times through. I, I think that might be helpful to play it through twice, actually, <clears throat> without stopping. And I thought it would be pretty, too. All right, so that's two times through the whole thing that I just did. Okay, um, and now let's do one with the harmonics. Uh, take it nice and slow. One, two, three, and two, three, two, three. Three, two, 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 three, two
two, three, 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 two, three. All right, I'm gonna stop there and do that again. I don't think it'll feel good to playing melody quite yet to play it all the way through twice. So here we go. Same exact thing, just so you have it. Uh, maybe a little slower on this one, just so you have it a little slower version too. One, two, three. Sorry, wrong thing. One, two, three. Actually, one more time. I'm gonna give you a three. I'm gonna count your three ends. You can play on the three end if you want with the melody. <clears throat> one, two, three, and two, three, 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 two, three. Okay, I think it'd be great. I think you'll like it a lot. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, remember, if I think if you kind of practice it in sections, you'll memorize it better and be able to play through it. Um, and then, you know, I think it'll make more sense when you play it with, with the recording. But, uh, yeah, have fun. Bye.